of the world, Supersonic's money transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are, from Kartong to Koina, with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Uh, some Gambian migrants who were deported from Germany. I was so furious I had to call ISA that... Uh, we could not allow our staff to do live videos, only to realize that she had already quitted and left, left us for uh, Pausman Juf, a good brother of mine who has always uh, supported the initiative to ensure that we have uh, the necessary freedoms in this country for media to operate freely. I thank you, Isa, for serving as a great mentor to Fat Samba. I also recognize the presence of uh, Dr. Samba, uh, Dr. Fal who was a uh, one-time former uh, mayor of Banjul, whom I interviewed several times when I was uh, a reporter for the BBC in the Gambia. We are happy that uh, you are supporting our young talents and our young people in the journalism, um, providing the necessary support and skills for them at the School of Journalism and Digital uh, School at the University of the Gambia. We are very grateful. I also recognize uh, the presence of... Uh, Marishok, uh, who is also a politician and uh, also a great participant in the creative art, the board of directors of uh, Gambia Talent TV, um, Mr. Latif Kar, who is also in the media. I see my good brother here, Haruna Drame, um, the imams and the religious leaders the police band for the wonderful music before the arrival of Her Excellency, the graduates, your parents, and more importantly, the father of Pausman Juf, who is present here. Papa, welcome. We're very grateful that uh, you gave birth to a great son of this country who is helping so many young people. I think my task here today is much easier because uh, I am to give uh, a small kind of speech on the kind of collaboration between the media and the government of the Gambia to advance our common agenda. You know that uh, the media and the government, of course, are mutual adversaries, uh, but we are not enemies. We are very strong partners in development. We work together, even though we disagree on a number of things. Um, for the first time also, I see um, Mr. Jata, 360, yeah? Um, on TikTok. I'm not a very fan TikToker, but I, I sometimes go there, especially during the campaign, because we used to post a lot of, uh, you know, videos, you know, and I came to know about uh, his presence. And interesting that uh, today you have more than 360,000 people following you on TikTok. That's great. And I hope you are monetizing your, your products so that uh, you can benefit from, you know, clicks on YouTube, and, and, and other platforms. Uh, this is what it is all about. If you have your talent in the creative industry, please exhibit it, use it wisely for the greater benefit of the people. Let me say that uh, in the history of uh, governance, uh, especially in our context today, there is no government that can live without collaborating with the media. Because when government do its work, when government delivers, somebody has to be there to show it to the people. Somebody has to narrate this to the people so that the taxpayers will know how their tax monies are being spent. So that is where the role of the media comes, serving as a window between the government and the citizenry. So that whatever the citizens want the government to hear, that will come through the channels. 
um, either platforms, social media platforms or traditional media platforms for us to know exactly how they feel. And whatever we are also doing, we use the same channels so that people will know what we are doing on their behalf. So therefore, uh, there is no media, there is no government in this world that can live without the support and partnership of the media. To the point that uh, in countries all over the world, the media is referred to as the fourth estate, providing the necessary checks and balances within the government or governance architecture. In the Gambia, the media has provided the necessary backstopping for the government to provide the necessary information to the citizenry and also decisions that we take for the people to make informed choices. Within the ecosystem, we have seen great collaboration between the media and the government with the former, which is the media, setting up associations such as Health Journalists Association, Tax and Financial Journalists Association, Environmental Journalists Association, Female Journalists Association, to name a few, complementing government's efforts to reach to the people. And also within the context of advancing our democratic governance, the Gambian media stands out immensely contributing to the overall strategic direction and self-actualization of our maturing pluralistic governance environment. An important collaborative effort between the government and the media in the most recent past was uh, during the peak of the COVID pandemic, uh, when the media was particularly very handy, as you all know, providing uh, the necessary information, especially accurate information, let me say, to the citizenry to actually deal with the myth and the misinformation about the, about the COVID. You all remember in the first three months of COVID, it was very challenging for all governments around the world that uh, many people did not believe that uh, this pandemic was a reality, that it was a hoax by governments to actually you know, put citizens at one place so that you know, we could implement the 5G and all other mysterious plans that you can ever think of. And even when the reality started to strike that um, people were dying of this disease, a lot of people came out with some very strange concussions of uh, garlic, uh, jimbo, and so many other things that they say actually would prevent you from getting this disease. Although, yes, they will improve your immunity, but that did not necessarily mean that you were going to be prevented from it. You know, and therefore, the use of face masks and all those things actually added to that serious problem for governments to convince citizens to stay at home or to keep distance and also to put on face masks. But the Gambian media was particularly very helpful. They were working with us. Um, we actually work from community to community, from TV station to TV station, radio station to radio station, and platforms to ensure that uh, the right information actually reach the Gambian people. And I think that paid dividend, as you could see, our pandemic records actually were not as high as uh, other countries even in the region here. All thanks to the very important professional, I mean, uh, conduct of our health personnel, but also the strong collaborative partnership between us and, and, and the media. And we really thank them for that collaboration. This particular graduation also uh, of more than 60 students are made to understand, most of them females, is ample testimony of uh, media's complementing efforts to government strategic development agenda. You know how expensive it is to train somebody. Um, if government was to do this type of training, it would cost us millions of dollars annually. But here we have um, a private sector coming in, collaborating with other trainers, to 
actually provide life-saving skills to a lot of these young people are going into real journalism. Some of them are going to do other things that will actually contribute immensely to their life. And that is why the Gambia Talent Promotion is uh, recognized. I'm sure they have spent um, so much of their meager resources to train and build the capacities of these uh, phenomenal, talented young people. And we know that most of them will be career, you know, uh, seekers in the, in the journalism. We encourage you and we welcome you in the field that uh, this is a noble profession and that all of you who want to exhibit your talent, you are welcome, but it has its own rules also because journalism is a noble profession with ethics to apply and to abide by. I want to take this opportunity, Madam First Lady, to thank most profoundly the Gambia Talent CEO, Paus Manjouf, my good friend, and also the management led by Fatou Samba and staff of the Gambia Talent TV for your relentless efforts in not only providing the training and capacity building of this group of young aspiring journalists and other careerists in uh, the industry, but also your efforts in contributing greatly in shaping their destiny. Most of these people, as I have heard from Fat Samba, came in with no hope that they were going to make it to, 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 to this day. But thank God today we are here and 60 of them have graduated or are about to be certificated and they are going into the next world of uh, the journalism with a strong background in training and a strong career that they will use from now on to benefit themselves, to build themselves and their families and their loved ones. A grateful nation, Paus Manjouf, says thank you to you and your staff and all the trainers who voluntarily came and supported this worthy cause. We call on other media institutions to emulate the Gambia Talent TV to fill the skills gaps in the sector. However, I want to send a word of caution for the, train, for the graduates to remember that a pen and a microphone in the hands of a wrong and untrained person is more dangerous than an AK-47. I hope you all know this because words written and produced can travel very far and they leave an indelible ink for the rest of your life. When a bullet hits you, it does that collateral damage instantly. When a word, especially a wrong word, hits you, it remains forever. So I want to urge you to use what you have learned wisely and make sure that we engage in all things that will advance the cause of our democracy, that will advance the cause of humanity. And that's why this is all the more critical, especially in today's environment, where everyone with a smartphone and an internet connection is potentially an independent producer and a distributor of news even if it is false news. Therefore, professionalizing the profession for the greater good of our society cannot be overemphasized. Remember, we all come from homes. We all come from a society that believes in a strong bond of relationship. We are all religious people, either on one side or the other. And therefore, knowing that this shape our thinking and our upbringing should also be reflected in your work as journalists and also independent producers. We believe this in itself will be a great addition if you abide by this to whatever you've learned during your training. I want to take this opportunity once again to thank you, to encourage you, the graduates, that this world is full of opportunities. Grab the opportunities make good use of them and be a better ambassador for this profession. Thank you. If you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network